Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Young Republicans Chairman Hayden Paget. I'm Hayden Paget. I'm the chairman of the Young Republican National Federation and a proud son of the great state of Texas. More importantly, more importantly, I'm a husband and the father of two wonderful children who are under two years old. This election, I'll be fighting to build a better country for them, my kids. America has always been a place where the promise of tomorrow is brighter than the trials of today. But for young Americans, that future is diminishing as quickly as, well, Biden's cognitive ability. In two years, America will celebrate her 250th birthday. But for Americans celebrating their 25th birthday now, they see a future where their dreams are increasingly out of reach. The rising cost of education keeps us in debt. The rising price of groceries and fuel keeps us living one paycheck to the next. The rising cost of childcare keeps us from starting our own families, and the rising cost of rent keeps us from owning our own home. But we know that life can be better that our lives can be more than making ends meet. Because it was better under Donald Trump. <laughs> making America great again means making groceries and gas affordable again, making education an investment and not a burden again, and making home ownership possible again. We just celebrated our Independence Day, where we were reminded that our founders did not promise us happiness, but the right to pursue it. The Biden-Harris economy has taken that all away from us. And this election, the young Republicans will be fighting to make the economy great again. We will help to throw Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and their legacies into the trash heap of history, and we will elect Donald Trump, a man whom grace and grit have saved for our time. And Senator J.D. Vance, the first young Republican, the first young Republican who will be elected Vice President of these United States in almost 70 years. And together, we will restore the American dream for young Americans. I owe it to my children, just as we all owe it to our future to make America great again. Thank you very much.